I've so. heard that you pay for it prior to tearing it up. <laughs> Busted. It really was the prompting of the Holy Spirit. You alive. It seemed yeah. a little violent. I was making sure everything was okay. Really quick before I go on, I want to point out something here. Because most people, unless you've worked in retail, uh, you don't know about inventory and how that works. But not only did this idiot um, tear up a book without paying for it, which is stealing. Um, but the book that he paid for is not the book that he tore up. So not only uh, did he really make himself look really bad. And a guy that's trying to, oh, the Bible says the Bible, he's wearing a shirt with the, with, with the word of God, you know, what people think of, and he's taking a book that he didn't pay for and he's tearing it up. Just all he wants to do is sell it. He's, he's peddling his garbage. The guy's peddling his garbage. Um, I mean, look, he's just peddling his crap or he wouldn't have that shirt on. He wouldn't have that on his, I mean, come on, give me a break. But not only did he, uh, uh, basically steal a book and tear it up but the book that he paid the uh the book that he paid for is not the book that he tore up because every single item in a store has a has a uh has its own barcode it's on its own inventory within the computer so not only not only did he uh not only did he make himself look stupid make god look stupid make christ uh, just put christ to an open shame um not because he's actually in Christ, but because he claims Christ. He's just a peddler. This is, I mean, this is the equivalent to what people would do in the 19th century, s selling their snake oil. Um, you know, there's a big difference between being led by the Holy Spirit and being driven by demons. Demons drive you and push you to do things like this. The Holy Spirit doesn't lead you and prompt you to do crap like this. This guy is oppressed by demons it's very obvious you can see it in his eyes i, I mean I, i'm looking i've seen it in the guy's eyes several times you know now you can't just look in. you just can't look not anybody can just look in a person's eyes and see that but if you've worked with you know, you, you can uh, if, if you're familiar uh well i'm not gonna get into that but yeah it's it's very clear the guy's got some major problems that have nothing to do with flat earth um but the thing is those people had to go in. He inconvenienced employees that, that are underpaid, overworked, because they had to go through and spend time to fix the inventory. Because the, the book he tore up is not the book he paid for. So most likely, if I had been that manager, I would have damaged out. That's probably what she did. Cause that, but still, that's paperwork. There's explanations. There's a lot of paperwork. There's, I mean, there's, she made work for that woman that there was no reason to do. This guy is a loser. This guy's I'm telling you, man. Like, if I had been there at that store, I'd have just decked him. I'd have laid him out on the floor and drug him out in the parking lot and left him there. Uh, it's 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 time that men... I'm not talking about just men being men just to be macho. I'm talking about men that, you know, that there, there's a time for that. There's, there's a time for that. I'm not talking about, like, beating a person senseless. But if I had been there, I'd have knocked him in the... I'd, I'd have, I'd have broken his nose, knocked him out, drug him out, left him in the parking lot. That's what I would have done. Uh, this guy better hope he never runs across me. But he better hope he never runs across me. Because I'm telling you, I can tell you within within five minutes he'll be laid out. This guy is, he's a loser. I don't tolerate losers. I can't stand being around. I've, I've, I've tried really hard my whole life not to be a loser. You know? My, my, and you know. It, it depends on what your your view of success is, but uh, I, I view success in several different dynamics. That guy is a loser in every way that's possible. He's a total loser. He's an absolute total loser. He's scared to death of people like me. The guy's scared to death of me. Him and Dean Odell and Rod, they're scared to death of me because they know that guys like me, we're the real deal, and they're just posers. That's why they're so scared of guys like me, why well, they avoid guys like me. It's not because, well, we don't have, I mean, they all say the same thing, we don't have time, we don't need to. No, you can't. It's not that you don't have time and you don't need to, it's just, you can't. <laughs> you can't deal with me. You, you wouldn't last, you wouldn't last 30 seconds in a conversation or, or a debate about this. But, uh, he really seriously, I, he, he's so stupid, this is what a fool does. 
A fool uh, commits himself to an act without considering the cost to himself and others around him. He, he made work for innocent people that are underpaid and overworked. He made more work for them because he's a freaking idiot. Heliocentric book that is bent on teaching lies to children. I'm gonna go make my purchase. I'm buying it. Okay. Yeah. The, I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just the only sure. the only way to buy a uh, fake space book for children is to purchase it and rip it up before. Just because you don't want children to have to get programmed with the alien invasion fake space stuff. The Earth is flat, okay. stationary and flat. And I don't know if you believe in the Bible, but there's over 200 verses that all corroborate this. Satan has deceived the whole world. So everyone believes that you can go to outer space and there's going to be aliens that can come here and they can communicate with them. They even have scientists come on Fox News and say, oh, there's aliens out there. So people believe there's aliens and this all here is propaganda. We, we I so. prefer that you pay for it prior to tearing it up, honestly, okay. because it, it could be that you left before you paid for it, and then we would be stuck having to damage it out. Oh, that's understandable. Yeah. But that's, our, that's our main concern. But yeah, I'm here. I'm paying for it. Okay. Yeah. As long as you pay for it. Yeah, this is clearly me making a statement that this is baloney right I, here. I, I understand. And it's baloney in a basket. I just wanted to so, make but sure. But yeah, yeah, sure. I wouldn't just leave the place. It so, just seemed yeah. a little violent. I was making sure everything was okay. Oh. I mean, if this is considered violent and aggressive, we have really lost it <laughs> yeah 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 sure yeah flatearthdoctrine.com I wrote a book on it so it's like now over 240 scriptures I have them all published on my website yeah and also there's government documents that I've published on my website which they also say in their own research they're this flat Stationary, stationary, and flat, with a dome over our head. Genesis 1, and it talks about that, that God created um, the firmament to separate the waters from above, from below. I think I got someone's attention, finally. Hopefully you guys will share this video so that I'm not the only one who sees it uh, from while I'm watching it right here, right now, as I'm recording. Who was uh, giving me some slack giving me some slack about um, the video I did at Target where I turn up, I tore up the pages of the $4 space book at Target. $4! Four! Not even ten. Not even five dollars. It wasn't even, it was four dollars. And the manager was really just concerned about if they were going to have to expense it because you it was damaged goods. But then she said, I'm, you're a little, a little violent. Really? A little violent? 
Seriously? Busted. Someone was trying to make me look like I'm, I'm demon possessed or something. Um. Busted. <laughs> Because of me tearing up a book, in fact, it really was the prompting of the Holy Spirit. You are lying. <laughs> you are lying. 